My mom being from North Louisiana, uh, she uh, grew up in a house where they made potato sack uh, dresses, you know, with the patterns on the sacks after they would use the things. And she ultimately um, uh, went from oilfield land to uh, the farm of her great grandparents to the house of her high school years. And even with her mother as a banker being very smart with her money, uh, there was a lot of addiction and struggle in the home and she couldn't get out of there fast enough. And so she went to, uh, to college, graduated in three years and wanted to do whatever she could to get out on, on her own. I remember when I was little, she had these shirts that she would meticulously take care of and would starch them three different times to make sure that they were as crisp as possible because she said, Katie, we may not have much, but uh, you do well with what you got. And I often remember anything that she would spend was often not on her but on the people she loved around her to make a life that was filled with love and consideration. But again, it was to the detriment often to things that she might even want or enjoy. At her death, she uh, had saved uh, so much and, and ultimately there were all sorts of ways that we wished that she would have um, done what she could to enjoy life a little bit more. But the fact that these two loving, beautiful, broken people could live together in one house and actually survive was a miracle. So I think about uh, my own life, having these disparate examples of what um, consideration, generosity, spending, and stewardship looks like, trying to find a middle way through that with Joy, enthusiasm, integrity, responsibility has been a challenge. And maybe you share this too. Even as I'm speaking, you might have some flashes of your own memory of some painful things that have informed your way of spending and saving and tending your uh, financial life so that you can go to sleep in peace at night. Maybe there are some points of joy that you want to replicate from your ancestor's story to today. And there's a whole lot of the in-between that's just the day-to-day things we do. My prayer for us over these weeks is that we'll have the courage not only to have those memories as they come flash by, but as manna, we'll actually pick them up and consider them Look at them. Actually say to these points of memory and nourishment, what is this, God? What might you have me learn or see or remember or even do differently because of what I'm seeing and taking in? As we go on this wilderness journey together, I pray that you will encounter, as I already have, that when we ask the questions, even the hard ones, that God will hear as God did hear, and that God will draw close, knowing that in the walking and in the remembering, we will never, ever be alone. Amen.